tag team match, Tommy Gilbert. To my right, in this one fall with a 20 minute time limit tag team match, the team of superstar Bill Dundee. His partner, weighing in at 235 pounds from Oil Trough, Texas, Dirty Dutch Mantel. Well, you saw it start. You heard it start, too. I'll tell you, the noise was deafening. I was hiding under the ring here for a moment from the noise. But I'll tell you, there's no hiding being done by Bill Dundee or by Dirty Dutch Mantel. They now are trying to make the Fantastics less fantastic and to make themselves the conquerors of Bobby Rogers and his partner. The Okay, there they go, helping each other, and in those beautiful white swallowtail coats, and up on their feet. Well, he was on his feet. Now we've got uh, now we've got Dutch Mantel trying to manhandle one of the Fantastics over into the corner, and he just caught a, a clubbing blow across the face, and he is sitting there dazed counting the lumps on his head. And I'm sure 
that having seen the way he was hit, that there are lumps right where he is feeling. Tommy Gilbert is trying to lay down the laws to them, whether that really makes a great deal of difference by the time the, the match is finished remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, and that is that either team is going to be in for a tough, tough individual. The man starting off is Bobby Fulton, and Bobby, as he takes the twisting arm lock, turns Bill Dundee over. The big long twist comes in the arm muscles of, of Dundee and he tries for a hip lock and he didn't make it. He fell victim to the hip lock because he had to get into an awkward position in order to deliver it and Bobby Fulton turned the hold to his advantage. Fantastic? Yes, of course. These are the Fantastics. And this is the Coliseum in Houston, Texas, where wrestling action is always fantastic. We can tell you this, that wrestling has been part of the Houston scene for 70 consecutive years. Part of television for 38 consecutive years. It stayed that way because it is the greatest wrestling in the entire country. So now, Tommy Gilbert calls on Bill Dundee, who tripped on the top rope getting into the ring, to get back into action. Side headlock is the hold. And Dundee pulls, twists, turns, in order to, to hold on to the head of Bobby Young. Side headlock, and the referee is trying to get some confirmation to admit that uh, Dundee pulled Bobby Young's hair. The question is moot because Gilbert isn't gonna break the hold. He doesn't have any proof. And if he lets the people referee for him, well, they ought to get paid for him. Side headlock, right across the ear. Wham, into the turnbuckle and there goes Bobby Fulton over and a stomach throw and a beauty, a monkey flip for sure. And Bill Dundee, Australian, yes. And he is, oh man. He took a dive through the air feet first and missed Bobby and he landed in what I shall call for more, for lack of a more delicate expression, he landed in an awkward position. He wishes now that he could take off of the dressing room and not have to get up. Dutch Mantel surveys his partner, surveys the opposition, and outside the ring, Bill Dundee limps around there trying to get things back in place and get the circulation restored. Twisting arm lock for Dutch Mantel, and the, I'll tell you one thing, that Tommy Rogers got a great partner. Get, get, get Bill Dundee on the, on the camera, uh, Ed. Get Bill Dundee on the, well, uh, I'll tell you why I said that was that uh, Bobby Fulton just came over here and crawled underneath the ring, and he was trying to find the corner and get up there by Dundee. He came up a little short. So imagination, action, effort, it's all part of it right here. And Dundee is catching it from all sides. What a noisy crowd, what a huge crowd, what an enthusiastic crowd. And that's the way you describe wrestling in Houston in the Coliseum all the time. Mantel goes down. Side headlock. And the 
precautionary measure. Tommy Rogers flew into Bill Dundee and knocked him off the ring apron. He was just making sure that Dundee didn't get him first. And the crowd is going crazy here, trying to let the, fa the Fantastics, uh, they're trying to let the Fantastics know that they are doing an exceptionally fine job. So, Rogers and Fulton collaborating, and there is Dutch Mantell. Mantell's a tough character. He looks like a bear who has uh, a, a, a sleeveless vest on. He has the greatest amount of body hair that I have ever seen on an individual, and I've wrestled an awful lot of them. But he has a, a fur jacket on, cut sharply in some places under the arms, but I'll, I'll tell you, it's almost unbelievable. But it's there, and it's believable for that reason, and Mantell makes everybody believe that hirsute adornment is a badge of toughness. So it's Dundee in, and he takes over. He takes over with an advantage. In the ropes for Dundee. Oh, he fell kind of wampus on that, and that's no help. So Dundee stays down. Dundee squirms into the corner, and Dundee looks for a little mercy, but there's no dictionary up in the ring. He can't find it. And Dundee crashes in upside down into the turnbuckle here above us, and his foot is caught under the turnbuckle, uh, the top turnbuckle. So the referee is telling Rogers to let go, and he let go. He did what the referee told him. Right in front of us, Bill Dundee. He squirms around and looks for the next place that he can expect the wallop to come from. He gets advice from Dutch Mantell. And Mantell, of course, can sum up the situation pretty well from experience. It is not going too well with the opposition of the Fantastics. you shake hands with that man? Would you buy a used hair shirt from him? No. Tommy Rogers in trouble. And so is Bill Dundee. He just walloped his own partner right in the whiskers. And the fans here give a roar of approval at what has happened. Down on the apron is Dutch Mantel, he gets up there holding that eye because that's where the blow hit. And Dundee wants the crowd to stop upsetting his partner. So, two heads meet, and if two heads are better than one, that's one case where that is true. If you want to knock a couple of heads together, you've got to have two. So Dutch Mantel comes in and Bill Dundee will find his way out of the ring and stack up in the corner. In the corner, Tommy Rogers and his partner puts a stop to the wallop that was gonna come his way. Mantel as he whirls on, on the canvas, gets back over into, into the corner. But he, the referee is calling on Mantell to rise, and Dundee is trying to Dundee is trying his best to throw up a smoke screen to confuse the issue. Tell you when you got a corner partner that bounces around a lot and has a lot to say and a lot to do, you are going to find that it's hard to concentrate when you're up in the ring. A lot of advice from Bill Dundee. Twisting arm lock. And 10 minutes have gone by. Time limit on this match is 30 minutes as uh, Bob, there comes Bill Dundee off that top rope. And in a flash, he is up. And in a, another flash, he is out of that ring. He just covered up everything he did to Bobby Fulton with the speedy action of what he did after he had 
bounced on him and given him a wallop in the kidneys. So Mantel goes for reverse back body drop and they're on top of him. There's one, there's two, and Fulton managed to get out from underneath. The fans are screaming, come on Bobby. And there's the touch over in the corner and they are hanging on to Fulton so Dundee can get a kick in. He got it. Two-handed wallop. And now he is exposing Bobby Fulton to trouble as he spreads those legs, but he was not able to get a kick in there. And Fulton managed to get his legs in to clobber him on each side of the head. Dundee, I tell you, he's real poetry in motion. You may not agree with what he does. I don't always agree with what people who move like poetry in motion do. But now they are managing to use the long part of that whip on, on Bobby Fulton and they wrapped it around his throat and they pulled at his feet. They stretched him for sure. And now Dundee and Mantell, oh, Fulton caught one right in the midsection. Here goes Mantell, up and down. Looked for the soft spot in the stomach, may have found it. There's the pounding. There's the touch. So, with Fulton down, Rogers in the ring trying to protect him. Dundee uncorking some of that vicious footwork that he can do so well. He comes up now with a twisting arm lock to try to get Fulton off the, off the canvas and the crowd here is literally trying to lift Fulton by the uh, uh, staccato beat of their applause. And as he rises up, he's held in a two-handed grip. He is trying to twist his way out. There was a head one out there and struck him right alongside the, the jaw. And, ar and around again, a driving foot in the... In, in, in the midsection. Fulton's in trouble. He's had some staggering blows. He has taken an inordinate amount of punishment and as Dundee gets out of the ring, Fulton is in a lot less worse shape than when Dundee came into the ring. There's Rogers going after him and the now the referee is distracted and is chasing Rogers out when, oh, when Fulton is in trouble. Here it goes, there is one, there is two, and there, there is two and a half, and that's all. Underneath, Bobby Fulton fighting to keep those shoulders up. He didn't make it. No, it was a two and a half count. And this time he managed to push him off, and we've got the uncoiling of, of the opposition, and here comes the driving blow with the fist as Bobby was racing in there to uh, to get after Bill Dundee. Now Dundee trying to set Fulton up. Sets him up. And there comes the sunset flip and he may have him. There's one. One and then he caught one on top of the head and that's enough to make anybody break any hole. <laughs> the swinging. The hard driving swinging of Bobby Fulton. Now he has to make it across there and Dundee put an effective stop to it. Front headlock and Mantell takes him down to the canvas. And the nose of Bobby Fulton is rubbing in this blue canvas here in the ring and he is making sure that he has all of the west of the weight of his upper body on the head and, and the neck of Bobby Fulton. 15 minutes have gone by and Bobby Fulton is trying to squirm around where he can come up with some answers of his own. Inch by inch now he's going to try to push over. He's going to try to push over and Mantell took advantage of the fact that the referee was discombobulated and 
you saw what happened. He literally turned him around using, using his hair. There's Dundee. Dundee never wastes a minute out there, never wastes a move. The Australian tried to drive Bobby Fulton all the way down under. The referee now is on the outside of the ring. Mantell is on the inside of the ring. And here comes Tommy Rogers, who races across that ring and starts after Dutch Mantell. <clears throat> but Tommy Rogers doesn't belong in there. The man that belongs in there is out on the Coliseum concrete. He hit the concrete and he hit hard. And now Rogers goes out to help his partner to return to the ring. See, so Bobby Fulton may be out. The referee is trying to get some order up in the ring. He needs the, now he's got the right to count him. And the referee goes ahead and counts. Bobby Fulton still on the floor. Now as they rise up, Fulton is draped over the railing that is around the ring. He is having problems. He is in a bad way. He is hurt. But he is now being brought into the ring by Dutch Mantel. And as he is brought in, he goes for a cradle hold. He got two, but that was all, and the referee caught a leg in the face. And now Mantell moving in there again, and Mantell is aggressive. But so is Bobby Fulton. He upended him with a driving knee lift. And as he sprawled Mantell on the other side of that ring, here comes Dundee. And Dundee just walked over there with a sneer on his face and watched Bobby tried to make it. He didn't. Here's Dundee coming off that second rope. He's through the air, and that's all. Oh, man, I'll tell you, this crowd is literally worn out. This has been a nonstop and a crashing, tremendous effort by the Fantastics and the, their opposition, Mantell and Dundee. And there they go, driving across the, the ring, smashing into each other as, as uh, Tommy Rogers is in the ring working on Mantell, and the blonde hair of Bobby flies all around the ring as he starts pummeling Bill Dundee. Over the top rope and down on the floor goes Tommy Rogers. Here comes Dutch Mantell going after Bobby Fulton. There goes the referee. Oh, man, he was third man. He was third man in the line, and he caught that front of that, and he went flying out of that ring. That's a tough blow for a wrestler to take, much less a wrestler. And, oh, through the air, and on top is Tommy Rogers. There it is. Tremendous match. What a tremendous match. Tommy Rogers came in there in the nick of time. Time was about to run out, and there was little doubt that the Fantastics had lost this match when they suddenly reversed things and came up with the win as Tommy Rogers scored a pinfall on Bill Dundee. The hands of the Fantastics are raised, and the referee looks like he's much the worse for wear. The fans are... Yes, that's the way it is. And we'll be back here again with another fantastic match right after this.